In our class, we do a lot of proficiency um, drills in our, in our classes here. Uh, and those proficiency drills are designed to teach you what and how to practice. So once you leave our course, uh, you know what you should be practicing instead of just popping tin cans or whatever it is you do at the range. Um, you should notice that your instructor is, I'm going to put this in quotes, a, a, a teacher. Okay, uh, They have been to schools... Uh, for instructors. Um, they have an understanding of how people, uh, and especially adults, learn. Today's video is called the difference between training and just a class. So I really kind of wanted to do this video for a while and I wanted to try to put this together uh, so that it helps people understand whether or not they've been to a, a good training class or uh, maybe they just went to just a class and I'll explain the differences there. Uh, but also this might entice people who are instructors um, that let's say they, they they do have minimal qualifications, whereas a lot of concealed carry instructors tend to um, have very minimal qualifications. Uh, so that might in, entice them to actually uh, go take a like an instructor class or maybe um, get a higher level of training for themselves so that, that they have more value in what they're trying to teach. Let's go ahead and, um, and kind of go over some of the differences here and, and I'll explain, okay? So here at our training course here at Small Arms Combatives, we have courses for rifle and pistol. Um, all of those courses encompass the survivalship principles of mindset, tactics, skills, and then gears last. So in that order, that's the hierarchy. Uh, the more mindset you have, the less you need to depend on tactics, skills, and gear. Uh, so <clears throat> all of our classes are very hands-on and people learn by doing. And um, our, our classes also encompass what's called the three R's. Um, the information is recent. It's relevant to, to the people that are learning the information and how they intend on using it. And finally, it's, it's rigorous. Uh, some people tend to go to, to training classes. They may or may not know it until they attend the class. Um, but it could be some of the best training ever, or it could be, mm, uh, you never know what you're going to get. Okay, you get there and it turns out to be the worst class ever. Uh, the point is that, that some of these people, such as people that attend concealed carry classes, they don't know the difference because maybe that's the only class they're going to go to in order to meet that state requirement uh, so they can get their permit. And so let's talk about um, uh, if they are just a class, okay? Uh, sometimes they could be characterized by too much lecture um, and it's not real hands-on. And of course, that'll depend on, you know, what people are trying to learn. So if it's going to be a pistol class, then I think it needs to be very hands-on in the instruction of how to handle the pistol and stuff like that. Um, typical concealed carry permit classes, uh, carry permit instructors, they, they do a whole lot of lecturing and maybe if they don't have a whole lot of experience and good knowledge and now they start spewing out all this nonsensical uh, types of information to people who really don't know any better, like telling them that, um, you know, they, they uh, a little lady has to shoot a 357 Magnum revolver or something to be able to defend herself. And, um, and so just, just things that, that don't make sense. Um, maybe they, they copied some, um, some of the drills that they do, if they do any, you know, just off some stuff uh, off, off the internet. I know YouTube. Uh, YouTube can, can hurt you or it's got some really good information. Many YouTubers, uh, they're there for their entertainment. Very, very few YouTubers are not really YouTube YouTubers, but they are firearms instructors 
and they're just trying to pass on some information that they necessarily wouldn't have time in class to discuss, but, or maybe it's, um, you know, supporting or ancillary information to sure. what they teach. Do you scan? Do you scan? You know, concealed carry instructors, um, you know, I give them a hard time sometimes because, you know, 99% of the time, many of them, uh, they don't really have any true experience. Uh, all they maybe have was just that NRA course. So I'm telling you guys, if you are that concealed carry instructor where you've only had the NRA course and that's how you're, you're, uh, you're teaching concealed carry permit classes, I implore you, please go out and get some higher level training for yourselves. This town that we live in, uh, there are tons of part-time concealed carry permit instructors out there. And um, not many of them, a few, not many of them have been out to small arms combatives. That just kind of goes to show you what's wrong with that situation. One of the problems that I have with, with a lot of concealed carry permit classes, uh, for example, um, and, and this is how we know whether it's just a class or training, uh, those concealed carry instructors tell people that they need to take that NRA basic pistol class or they need to have some kind of prior pistol instruction before taking their permit class. Uh, because when they get to the part where they do the shooting qualification, they're apparently already supposed to know how to shoot. And you know what? I don't like that because that's another way that, you know, maybe they're, they have that NRA basic pistol instructor certification. So what they're really doing is asking the people to come take that class. And then once they take that class, they double their money when you come back and they take the carry permit class. And then, uh, you know, here in North Carolina, that class is supposed to be eight hours and, and, I, somehow, I don't know, how, how can the instructor not fit in some quality marksmanship lessons within an eight-hour carry permit class? Um, it beats me because I know, like, you can talk about the laws for a long, long time, but eight hours, that is a long, long time not to bring any other uh, valuable information uh, to the class. Hey! They don't have any real structure in those types of classes, okay? Um, and then after the class, they even tell you, uh, you know, just come back again. That way we can show you the, I'm going to put in quotes, the advanced stuff. And the advanced stuff to them is like uh, speed and tactical reloads, um, clearing malfunctions. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, maybe um, they just copied some IDPA drills, you know, maybe they do shoot IDPA, which is fine, that's okay, um, but that is, um, that's, that's not training, okay, those are just, those are just drills. So let's talk about uh, training now and um, how mindset, tactics, and skill uh, actually encompass our, our, our training philosophies here. Uh, so let's talk about what mindset is first. Um, typically though, in a, in a, just a class, um, there's no real clear methodology or philosophy behind the principles, uh, that, that, that class is trying to teach, or there's no principles at all. And for us, mindset is very clear. We are, we're trying to, um, in order to train people, uh, we want to try to teach them what and how to practice. And so for us, we're training people to become more effective fighters. Mindset is everything that we do uh, and how we act in order uh, to become a more effective fighter, but it's, it's everything that we do that makes makes us a warrior on the inside. And so uh, since this is basically just a, um, a video, it's, it's gonna be kind of hard to get into details of mindset on a video, 
since our training classes do encompass mindset first and, and foremost, um, and you know, a lot of our classes are throughout the whole, a whole day of training. Um, it's kind of, kind of hard to be uh, real specific on that, uh, cause it, it encompasses so much. And so if you want to, you want to come out and see what a real training class is like, come out to small arms combatives, we'll show you what mindset is. And I'm sure there's other cl classes out there, um, that, that do the same as well. Uh, so let's talk about what tactics are. Um, tactics is, um, making decisions in order to, uh, get a desired outcome. And so it, it gives us more opportunities, uh, to prevail over the bad guy. Um, and so in just a class, like just a class, okay, um, not learning those movements or techniques, um, that, that gives you an upper hand is, it's on the instructor. Um, so that, that's on the instructor's experience. So if, if all they've ever had, uh, was just that NRA class, that NRA certification, let's say to teach a, um, a carry permit class, um, then they don't have any real tactics that they can share. Okay. And so in, in my opinion, I would never train with a person that the only certification to have is that, that, uh, NRA certification. Let's talk about what skill is. Okay. Skill is how well you're able to operate your defense tools. So in this case, let's talk about um, a pistol, okay? Um, so in just the class, um, you know, you might just find yourself in the class just shooting. Maybe maybe the drills that they have set up in that class is, is just a lot of shooting uh, without any um, why. Why are we doing the shooting? Um, so in our class, uh, since we, we concentrate on mindset and tactics, um, you know, mindset foremost, um, we're, we're using shooting in order to teach our principles, uh, on mindset and tactics. Okay. And so, uh, basically, uh, we want to know what the, the purpose in that instructor teaching us, uh, you know, we want to know why they're, they're telling us how to operate the, the gun and why to do this kind of reload, uh, what to do in each type of situation. Okay. And so uh, a lot of times, um, information can be passed down, uh, through the years. It's, it's mingled its way into the tactical community. Um, maybe there's information that, that people don't know why they do it. It's just that, Oh, the person that I learned from said, do it this way. And we're just, I'm going to teach y'all, to do it this way. Uh, so anytime you go to a training course, um, in my opinion, you should see the instructor shoot. Also, um, you should, you should know why the instructor is teaching you that way. So that's where we're going to go into the three R's of training. Okay. Uh, recent, uh, relevant and rigorous. We're going to start with relevant. Um, for example, maybe a lot of instructors that teach carry permit classes, maybe they have a a competition shooting background. Maybe, maybe they shoot competition. Maybe that's their hobby. And now, you know, they went off and got the NRA certification to teach uh, basic pistol and uh, concealed carry permit classes. And, um, and they're teaching people who are trying to defend themselves with a pistol, um, the competitive way of handling the handgun, uh, which is fine as long as that's the way they do it in competition. Um, you'd learn in a real training class that the competitive way of doing things, uh, may be faster, but it, the, it doesn't always work, uh, when we're under stress. Okay. Uh, that adrenaline response. Okay. And so, um, we want to make sure that what is the purpose of the instructor's instruction, uh, is if it's for competition, then you need to go to a, a champion competition shooter. Uh, that is, if you want to learn to shoot competitions better, go to a champion uh, competition shooter. If you want to learn how to, um, uh, for example, if you want to learn how to defend yourself with a pistol, you need to make sure that that instructor has a solid background in, uh, in defense, that, that they have uh, a training resume that um, 
that is that is centered for defense and whatever type of firearm that they're they're teaching you on. Okay. Uh, next is um, is the instructor's training recent? Okay. If if you come to take a tra class here at Small Arms Combatives, the information that you receive is very very up to date. Um, I myself as an instructor uh, train often. Okay. I, I go to other top tier schools and I train. Okay. Uh, I take, that means I go to a class. That doesn't mean I go to the range and practice, okay? Uh, so let me just kind of give you an idea. A lot of law enforcement officers, I'm not bashing the police or anything, uh, but a lot of law enforcement officers, when they do retire uh, from law enforcement, you know, that's typically a 26 to 30 year uh, career. Uh, so uh, let's say we back up 30 years right now, okay? We're going to back up 30 years. Um, that puts us in the early 1990s, okay? And a lot has changed with how we handle the pistol. Um, a lot has changed with um, carry techniques. Uh, there's even laws that have changed um, uh, on self-defense and especially in this state, a lot of, a lot of laws, the concealed carry laws changed and, uh, and stuff like that. Um, but, but Modern gun handling habits is what we're talking about. Um, are, are the methods that, that that instructor is teaching, um, are, are, they, are they the most recent methods that, that are proven to be more effective than the, the methods that are used a long, long time ago? Uh, for example, you know, let's say, um, you know, the Marine Corps back in the late 80s, early 90s, and really all the way up till fairly recently now, uh, teaching Marines uh, to, you know, open up a sling, put the arm through it, singe it down, and learn how to shoot that way. While that's fine to learn how to shoot, uh, we, it's not the way we would necessarily do it in uh, combat, okay? Uh, that, that, so I, I know the Marine Corps is making a lot of changes to, um, to their qualifications uh, to make uh, their qualification uh, more relevant to actually how, you know, Marines fight. Um, let's see here. Next is, uh, rigor. Okay. Uh, so in, in our class, we do a lot of proficiency, um, drills in our, in our classes here. Uh, and those proficiency drills are designed to teach you what and how to practice. So once you leave our course, uh, you know what you should be practicing instead of just popping tin cans or whatever it is you do at the range. Um, you should notice that your instructor is, I'm going to put this in quotes, a, a, a teacher, okay? Uh, they have been to schools uh, for instructors. Um, they have an understanding of how people, uh, and especially adults, learn. And so um, that's very, very important uh, because they have to be able to pass that information to you uh, and try to be hands-on at the same time. They, instead of just showing you how to do something, they need to be able to explain every little piece and part. They need to break it down. Uh, I like to call um, uh, what we do in our classes uh, scaffolding. Uh, so that means that we call out commands and then over the course of the day, um, we start taking away some of those directions. So when we start out, for example, in our pistol classes, we call out the steps of how to draw the pistol Okay, and then we tell people put your finger on the trigger and then squeeze, everyone's gun goes bang, and then we, you know, tell people to reset and we come back. Okay, and uh, we call it all those steps. Now, over, you know, the course of the next few iterations of those drills, uh, when we're shooting for pure marksmanship to make sure everyone's spot on, then we'll start taking away uh, those directions, like the scaffolding on a building. Uh, so, you know, during construction, so we'll start taking those away. So, um, and those are the types of uh, things that you learn at an instructor school. Uh, so, uh, if, you, if you're a carry permit instructor out there, uh, go find a, a good quality training class. It, and, and for us, it's perfectly fine. Um, if you want to, to, uh, to get with us, we can, we'll, we'll be glad to help you out. And so... Uh, everyone, that's the difference between training and just taking a class. And, um, you know, not all uh, classes are training classes. 
and you would really be better off uh, having zero training rather than going to uh, a crappy class. Um, just a philosophical statement, um, because you could you can get in a lot of trouble. Uh, you would be worse off going to a, a, a crappy class, uh, because there might be some things that they're teaching you that could really either, you know, get you killed, get you hurt, get someone else hurt, uh, or in the case of defense, wind up in, in prison. Uh, so if you found this information to be helpful, you enjoyed the video, um, we ask that you come out with small arms combatives, give us a try. We hope to see you soon. Uh, everyone take care. Over now.